All right, so now let's go over the answers to the video questions. So in this video, here is the metathesis, here is the epiphysis, and here is the physis, and you can see that this is kind of slid off. And so there's increased space here. And not only that, it's uh, displaced some. And so this would be a Salter Harris type 1. All right, so this one is also pretty markedly displaced, but we could see here that it's, uh, there is your metaphysis, here is your epiphysis, and you have part of that fracture here. So this is the one that is above, and so this is going to be a Salter Harris two. All right, and this one, here's your metaphysis, here's your epiphysis, and you can see that there's a fracture line through here. And so that's going below the physis. So now we have a Salter Harris 3. This one's a little bit trickier. But here you can see in this neighboring uh, ulna bone, you can see the physis there. And here you don't see it at all. So this is a crush injury. So the two pieces were rammed together or crushed, and so that gives us a Salter Harris 5. This one is similar to the other one we saw. Here's your epiphysis, here's your metaphysis, here's your physis, and you have a fracture through the epiphysis. And so this is a below, so this is a Salter Harris 3. And again, notice that this is intra-articular. Now again, here's your metaphysis and your epiphysis. And uh, you can see that there's a line that goes through both of them here. So the fracture goes through both. And so if it's through and through, that's a Salter Harris 4. Alright, this one I'm going to give you. It's a little bit tough to see. So you know that through the epiphysis here we have one. And you could possibly make the argument that there's one there like that, too. It looks like there's a break in the cortex there, too, in the metaphysis. So this would also be a Salter Harris 4. For this one, we're going to ignore this fracture for right now. But you're going to look at this piece right here. So we know that we have a fracture here. It's also displaced a little bit, too. And so, there's your epiphysis, your metaphysis. And so this is upside down in the way we're normally seeing it. So while this is technically below, in this picture it really is above. So we're going to call that a Salter Harris 2. This one, again, is a little bit difficult to see. Uh, but you can see here we have a nice uh, epiphyseal plate there. And all of a sudden in the middle it kind of gets jammed up over there. Or rammed or crushed. So we'll call this a Salter Harris 5. And as for the bonus questions, what's the most common? Salter Harris 2 with 75%. And then the least common is Salter Harris 5 with less, some places I saw less than 5%, other places even less than 1%. Alright, and that's it for the answers. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and put, some, put them down there in the comments or email me or whatever. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.